Good morning, YouTube. Hope everyone is having a great day out there. Welcome to another episode of Life of Brian. I am in my 2002 Porsche Turbo. It's the uh, 996 iteration. And um, I just left the Porsche dealership and was looking at another um, 2002 uh, Turbo. But um, the one I was looking at is a manual. Mine is an automatic, the uh, Tiptronic, uh, which was um, before the PDK um, was used. And uh, you know, I love this car. I've had it since um, 2018. I've never had any real issues with it. It's it's you know it's not a it's not a supercar, obviously, right? But you know for its time. Um, when it came out, it was, you know, one of the fastest cars on the road, I believe. Uh, 414 horsepower, um, I forget the 0 to 60 time, but again, it's, it was a fast car uh, during its time, one of the fastest cars um, at, 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 its, at, at the time of its release. And um, just a really, really, really easy car to use. Um, you have back seats that, you know, you can't really put adults in, but, you know, for stores, for small kids, in a pinch, uh, you got a usable front, um, and it just really, guys, since I've had this car, it's, it's really kind of giving me, like I said, no real big issues and compared to my Italian uh, exotics or even my um, British car, supercars, whatever. I just never, never had really any issues with this car. The engine's bulletproof. Um, the turbo engines, again, are different from the the uh, the Carreras and you know the trims beneath it. So this this engine. Metzinger, Metz, Metzinger engine uh, is 100% reliable, bulletproof, had no issues with it. And um, yeah, I've had this car since about 2018. I've had cars that I got with it have come and gone, but this one has stayed in my garage. And again, it's just because I, it's just been so easy to use. I've never had really any issues with it. But the thing that's really kind of always got me thinking about getting a different one is the that. It is an automatic. And I've always wanted a manual, always wanted to drive a, a, a Porsche with a manual, with a stick shift. And the one I'm looking at right now, um, don't want to reveal it yet to you guys because I'm still, you know, crunching numbers and seeing if it's going to work out. But um, it also has an aero kit, a factory installed aero kit on it, which I think looks really nice. But I'm really strongly considering it. And uh, I haven't actually shot a video with this car yet for the channel, so I guess I might use today as a, as a, as an opportunity since it may not be with me much longer but yeah I really love this car um, it's given me great value great use over the years but it might be time to um, to uh, you know move on and get something different so we'll, uh, we'll see so here's my 2002 Porsche Turbo 996 and this might be the uh, the one and only video I shoot with this car for the channel, but you know, you never know. Um, I really, really love this car. Um, I think it's a really nice looking car too. Yes, you know, people poo poo on the car because of the uh, runny egg, whatever, weird headlights. I, I think the headlights look fine. Um, yeah, they're not circular or oval or whatever it is, but um, I think, uh, I don't think it's ugly by any by any means and um you know just the lines and the dimensions and the size and the weight of the car and you know it's just a it's just a, it's a really nice looking car and as i referenced earlier guys really the only reason i'm strongly considering getting rid of it is that the auto tragic the Tiptronic pre PDK era in Porsche, but again, you have your your back seats, which are you know not usable for adults, but for luggage, duffel bags, groceries. Um, you know everything's very nice, nice to the touch, nice leather. Um, these cars really got poo pooed on because of the interior, but again, you know, I think Doug Demiro did a great video where he's kind of beating down everyone from the um, earlier Porsche generations that were kind of poo-pooing on the 996 and their interiors didn't look that great either. But 
yeah, I um, I will definitely be kind of sad to see this car go if I do end up selling it. Um, like I said, it's I've had it since 2018. I've gotten a lot of great use from it, a lot of enjoyment, and never really had any uh, issues with it, quite honestly. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if the uh, the deal on the other one works out. And um, but for now, it, it's still with me. So I am strongly considering um, moving on from this car, guys, and and actually just getting into another uh, exact same car, but again, with a manual, um, different color. It will have the uh, factory installed aero kit on it. Um, so those are the main differences, but, you know, it's... Um, I've, I've listed this car a few times and then taken it off, listed it a few times, taken it off. I've had a few inquiries on it, but, um, you know, nothing's ever kind of finalized or worked out. So, um, yeah, it's, um, oops, sorry guys, fell off. It's, um, it's still with me and, um, you know, I use it probably once a month if that, it basically sits most of the time, which is another reason why, um, you know, I'm thinking of, of moving it this time because I think, you know, you know, your car should be driven and, um, I really do try to drive, uh, all of my cars on a regular basis, um, because a lot of them are kind of, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, if they sit too long, there you know issues pop up. Uh, mainly, you know, my the my um, my British cars, the McLaren, the Lotus, the Bentley. If those go more than a week without you know moving them, uh, you're going to get some gremlins. You're going to get some morning lights pop up. But again, never really had that issue with this car. But it just this car really sits um, uh, most of the time. My boys love this car. Uh, whenever we go to lunch or go somewhere, they really want me to take this car. But um, you know, I feel that. You know, I, I need to get something that I'm going to use more often that um, I'll be more excited to drive. And quite honestly, again, the only thing that keeps me from driving this car much more is the fact that it has the automatic and it's not a manual. Um, and I was actually sitting in the uh, the car that I was looking at earlier at the Porsche dealership and kind of just rowing through the gears and, uh, you know, that, that Porsche manual is just, it's something else. So definitely going to give it strong consideration. Again, still working out the numbers, trying to finalize things on that end, but I definitely keep you guys posted and to let you know if I end up selling this, but, um, but, uh, yeah, it'll definitely be a bittersweet moment. Um, really like the car, all, all you guys who own, you know, 911s, uh, especially the turbos, you know, exactly what I'm talking about. It's such an easy car to drive, easy car to own, uh, very enjoyable. Um, you kind of get that almost super car feeling. Um, but you know, not necessarily, especially if you're, again, you're buying, uh, these 996s, you're in terms of bargains, bang for your buck. Um, you can't beat it. Uh, even now with prices, you know, creeping up on these, uh, you're still getting a great deal um, uh, instead of spending much, much more on the 997s or obviously um, anything uh, recently coming out of Porsche. Porsche. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted, let you know. And uh, if I do get the uh, the other uh, Porsche, I'll definitely keep you guys posted and post that on the channel as well. So hope you guys like the content so far. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up, a comment below, like and subscribe, support the channel. And uh, hope to see you guys in the next uh, video. Take care. Bye-bye.